Welcome back everybody, Kiwami Games up in the house. Welcome back, it's so great to see you all here. And first and foremost, I have to extend my hand in gratitude with a big, big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel, which has allowed me to gain 500 subs, which was a goal of mine, you know? So thank you, thank you all so much. You don't understand how much it means to me and how much I appreciate you all for taking time out of your life to come and check me out and check my videos. So thank you all so much. So very quickly, I wanted to update my Ice Jade deck because I feel this deck can be really good in the upcoming Synchro Festival, which should be active by the time that I drop this video. So very quickly, just to go over what we're trying to do, we're trying to get our Field Spell, our Ice Jade Curse, and our Cosmoclore on the field. If you have these three cards on the field, then it becomes a one-sided skill drain where your opponents cannot activate any monster effects whatsoever. And then after that, you want to try to get this card right here, your Ice J Gamir on the field, because this card can protect you from being banished and being destroyed. And then after that, you can try to make a drag guy, which can protect your back row. And you can try to get an Erosion, as this is an Omni Negate and can help you protect your back row as well. But um, yeah, so let's just check the deck in action. I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's just jump right into the replays. Hello, everyone. Welcome to game number one. And boy, oh boy, look at our hand. Our hand is looking extra, extra spicy. So we have the Field Spell, we have the Curse. So this is the two cards out of three that we need for our lock. We have the Cradle, which is not once per turn. So this Cradle is going to allow us to search for our Agrin. And then we're going to be able to search for another Cradle that's going to snatch us the Cosmo Claw to complete our lock. So if we get Agrin, and we're going to search for another Cradle. And then this card is not once per turn, so we can activate it again. And then we get our Cosmo Claw. And now we have the Trifecta. So we activate Curse, activate the Field Spell, Special Summon Cosmo Claw. And now our lock is complete. And then we also have Erosion. So Erosion is sort of like an Omni Negate. So our opponent is... It's kind of fucked right now, I'll be honest. Alright, so he sets threes and pass. We get another curse, so we're going to normal summon our uh, Deep Sea Diva. And then Deep Sea Diva is going to be our starter for our Synchro plays. So with Deep Sea Diva, we're going to special summon Guitar. And then Guitar has the special effect that you can banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck equal to the number of water monsters you control. So right now we have one, two, three, four water monsters. So that means we're going to banish four cards from the top of his deck. And then we banish the Beastial Baldrake, an Ash Blossom, Lubellion, and a Call by the Grave. So not bad, not bad. <laughs> okay, then we're going to activate um, the guitar's second effect, which we can target one level four or lower water monster you control. And then we can increase its level by its original level. So we're going to target the guitar so that it can turn into a level six so that we can make a level eight synchro. Alright, and then with this, we're going to go into Drag Guy. And the reason why we go into Drag Guy is because we have our back row light. We have the trifecta. We have everything that we need to lock our opponent. So now we just need to protect it. So Drag Guy is when your opponent activates a spell or trap card. While, you, while a water monster is in your graveyard, you can negate the activation. And if you do, destroy it. So this card right here can protect our back row. Alright, so we smack him for 3,000. Smack him for 1,000. And then we pass turn. Alright, he's going to activate Branded Opening. He's going to special summon the Alibur, but the Alibur can activate. Then the Sironeer is going to send the Retribution to the Graveyard. It's going to activate Lubellion, send itself to the Graveyard so that he can search for a Bestial card. He's going to activate Branded Laws. I'm going to negate Branded Laws just because Branded Laws can be a little troublesome. Sometimes, you know, you can't react to their uh, cards whenever Branded Laws is activated. But then he's going to special summon the Druid's Worm, banishing his own uh, Bestial Monster. We're going to activate the Field Spell, targeting our Cosmic Lord to reduce the field by 1500 attack. He's going to get his Lubellion, but again, we're under the lock, so he cannot do anything. Then I activate my Erosion. And the reason why I activate my Erosion is just to get it uh, up there as protection. Because Erosion has a second effect that if a Water Monster leaves the field, I can then uh, Special Summon an Ice J Monster from my deck. So this is funny, like our opponent, he's kind of screwed. He's over here just trying anything that he can do to kind of break the board, but he can't. 
All right, so he's gonna attack my Agrin. Agrin has a second effect that when she's gonna be destroyed by battle, that first time she's not destroyed, and then I can special summon a water monster from my hand or graveyard. And then the guitar, since we special summon the guitar, we can banish cards from the top of his deck again. And then the super poly, I got a little scared here with the super poly. I thought he was gonna make like a Garura or something, because the Garura could have probably broke the board. <laughs> but instead, he's gonna go into Koyadis. And then with Kratos, he's going to be able to attack into Agrin and destroy it this time. He's going to activate Brandon in red. Going to get the Alibur to the hand. And then he's going to make, I believe, a Dragostapelia. So it's funny, bro. Just when you have this lock, it's just hilarious. Everybody just starts summoning monsters out their ass thinking that, well, if this one didn't work, maybe this one would work. If that didn't work, well, maybe this one would work. But we got him. So now we're going to activate uh, the guitar, it's going to banish itself, and then when it's banished itself, we can give a water monster 100 attack for each currently banished monster. So we're going to give the Igre the Cosmoclaw an attack boost, and then the Cosmoclaw is also going to reduce the Dragostopelia by a thousand. Then he's going to try to negate my uh, Ice Jade, but it's too late because the curse is going to burn him for 2700 attacks, since that's how much the Dragostopelia had. And yeah, so I thought this game right here is just a great showcase of, you know, what it is to have the lock and yeah, how crazy it is and how hard it is for your opponent to kind of break once you have the lock. But um, yeah, let's move on to the next game, which is also just hilarious. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome to game number two. And we're going up against uh, Branded Bestial one more time. And our hand kind of sucks, but we have our bong so we're going to activate the bong and let's see what we can excavate uh, we excavated an agrin so we're going to add the agrin then we're going to normal summon the agrin and we're going to search for our our um ice jade cradle then activate the cradle the cradle is going to get us a tremora and the reason why i got the tremora is for both of her effects so the first effect is that you can special you can send this card to the graveyard and then you can special summon one water monster from your hand and then we have our level 7 tuner so that means when we special summon this monster, we're going to be able to make our level 10 synchro. And then also her second effect is that when a water monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, special summon one Ice J monster from your hand or graveyard. So this effect is going to come in handy later on in the duel. It's just going to be hilarious. <laughs> You'll see. Alright, so we're going to send her to the graveyard, special summon the creation. And then my second creation, I'm going to activate its effect to attach itself to the Agrin. And reason being is because I want both of those monsters in the graveyard. Because they can activate from the graveyard. So they can attach themselves to my Ice Jade monsters from the graveyard during my turn or my opponent's turn. Alright, so that's all we wrote. Then it's up to our opponent. He's going to normal summon Alibur. He's going to search for Brand Diffusion. We got the Ash Blossom, so we got the Negate, we got that thing unlocked, activate that Ash Blossom. And then from there we're going to activate our Creation, attaching itself to our Gimir. And then the Creation is going to give our Gimir a 400 attack and defense for every banished monster. Then he's going to attack himself so that he can activate the Brandon Red. Alright, then he's going to make a Lubellion with the Tragedy and the Fallen of Albath. Alright, and then with the Lubellion, he's going to send the uh, discard the Alibert. And then the Tragedy is going to activate. He's going to send the Ad Libitum to his hand. Alright, then using the Lubellion and the Fallen of Albath, he's going to go into Mirror Jade and bro... <laughs> this is why I say that, bro. This Ice J card, if this if this deck would have came out at the same time that the uh, branded deck came out, I feel like this would have been the more superior deck, because I feel this card is was made to counter Mirror J. So Mirror J is gonna activate, you know, he's gonna send one Fusion Monster from the extra deck to the graveyard, and then he can banish a card, right? But I'm gonna activate my effect. So my effect is you can activate this effect. Uh, face up monsters you control cannot be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effect this turn. Then, if you activated this effect in response to your opponent's card effect, you can then banish that card. So the Mirror Jade is going to activate, I'm going to chain to the Mirror Jade, so that means I'm going to banish the Mirror Jade, and the Mirror Jade, he cannot banish my monster. So instead, he's going <laughs> to... 
He's gonna have to banish his own bestial monster that he just special summoned. So, <laughs> bro, this is just hilarious. I really felt the Ice J deck would have been like the ultimate counter to the Branded deck. And then also, our monsters cannot be destroyed. So the Mirror Jade at the end, you know, he'll destroy every special summon monster. But the Gamir also uh, protect us from being banished and being destroyed by card effects. So this completely shuts down Mirror Jade. It's a complete counter to Mirror Jade. Alright, so he's going to normal summon the Cartesia using the Ad Libitan. He's going to fusion summon into the Coriolis. And bro, and this is just hilarious. My man just doesn't understand. <laughs> This is why reading, bro, Bakura, reading is important. Reading is important and learning from your mistakes is important, my guy. So he's going to activate <laughs> He's going to activate the Mirror Jade once again. So what's going to happen? I'm going to activate my Gimir once again, protecting my monster. So that means the Mirror Jade is going to have to banish his own monsters. Like, bro, this is just hilarious, man. I <laughs> Alright, so he thought if he goes to a Dragon's Tapelia, like, my effect is not going to kick in, but it's still going to go through. So now the Mirror J ends up banishing the Dragon's Tapelia that he just made, like, <laughs> this is just hilarious, alright? And then this is where my Tremora comes in, in effect, how I mentioned at the beginning of the duel, since my monster got destroyed, I can now banish it, and then I can special summon an Ice J monster, so I bring back my Gamir, and then my, uh... My monster that attaches itself, it can attach, reattach itself. So it's like nothing happened. Like, like nothing happened. Nothing, absolutely nothing happened, bro. Like, this is just crazy. <laughs> this is why I love this deck, bro. Against Branded Despia, like, this deck is just the ultimate counter to Branded Despia. Alright, so I'm going to special summon the Chamora once again so that I can get her graveyard effect activating. Alright, the Croyd is going to activate to reduce my monsters to zero. So I'm gonna chain it, I'm gonna banish it, then I'm gonna special summon the angler, then I'm gonna detach my, detach the creation so that it can special summon itself to the field, I'm gonna activate triple attack his talent, steal his alibur, I mean his fallen of albath, and then I'm gonna make a marinsis, and then the marinsis is gonna bring back my agrin, and then the agrin is gonna activate, and I'm gonna search for my field spell, and now I just have lethal damage here, so we'll attack, and then Bakura, he's just going to decide to send himself to the Shadow Realm. He's not even going to let me do the honors. He's just going to surrender and send himself back to the Shadow Realm where he belongs. But, bro, reading is important, Bakura. While you're out there, make sure that you go to the Shadow Realm school or something and learn how to read, bro. Like, come on. Come on now. <laughs> All right, man. Let's, let's, let's keep it moving. People, welcome back to our next duel. And this time, we're going to go up against uh, Drytron. Which, I'll be honest, is a deck that I'm not very, very well versed in it. I'm, I don't know too much about it. So, yeah, but this is a great duel. Here you can see just how well we're able to just get complete control of the field and preventing our opponents just from doing anything. Alright, so we're just going into our basic combos, just trying to get our three cards that are required for our lockdown. Alright, then we'll... Using our monsters, we're gonna make a level 7 synchro monster. We're gonna make our prima donna. Then, using these two monsters, we're gonna make our level 10 Ice J Gamir. Bring that bad girl out here. Alright, then we're gonna set Call by the Grave and our Erosion. And then that's all we wrote. So, it's up to our opponent. It's gonna activate Cyber Emergency. He's gonna add the Metionis Quadrantid. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> he's going to activate the field spell. I'm going to chain Gamir and banish it just because I always feel like field spells can always be troublesome. So I try to get rid of them as much as fast as I can. Then here I'm just going to flip up my erosion just in case if something were to happen to my Ice J monster. I'll be able to special summon an Ice J monster. Alright, and then here he's just doing a whole bunch of I don't know what bro. I, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure how this deck works. So I'm just taking my time, trying to read everything as much as I could. Alright, I'm gonna call my friend at the Mortuary, he's on active duty. We're gonna send this dude from the graveyard to the Shadow Realm. Get that thing out of here. 
And again, I'm just negating what I feel like could be troublesome. I mean, if you're a Drytron expert, then, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what are, like, the choke points, what are some monsters, some cards that we should be aware of. Because I'm not 100%. I'm just trying to play this duel as carefully as I can. And here I make a mistake. I tried to negate the ritual monster, but it seems like he's unaffected. So instead, I ended up negating the uh, XZ monster. So then since... I, one of my Ice J monster was destroyed, I'm able to banish Tremora from the graveyard so that I can special summon Agrin, and then Agrin is going to get my curse, I mean sorry, my field spell, so now we got two cards out of the three that are required for the lock, and then he's going to go into some gigantic ritual monster, he's going to attack into my Agrin, Agrin is going to activate his effect, special summon the guitar, the guitar is going to banish two cards from his deck, and we banish a blue ice chaos max dragon so that's good because that could be prob uh, troublesome he's going to activate the Entis. the Entis cannot pop my agrin because at the beginning of the duel if you remember i activated my uh, gamir's effect when i banished the field spell so that means my card is protected from being banished and being destroyed all right so now it's up to us and then due to um an activated effect from my opponent i have to skip my battle phase so we Activate Tremora, send herself to the graveyard so that we can special summon my other Tremora. And then using these two monsters, we're going to make Coral Anemone. And then Coral Anemone is going to be able to special summon Agrin from the graveyard. And then Agrin is going to activate, searching for the Manifestation. Then the Manifestation is going to be able to special summon an Ice J monster from my deck. And now we complete the Trifecta. So now our opponent, he cannot activate any monster effects. Alright, you make me skip my battle phase. I prevent you from activating any monster effects. I feel that's a fair trade. <laughs> Alright, these cards, these Drytron cards, they look colossal though. They look pretty cool though. I don't know too much about it, but they do look pretty cool. The artwork does look like... Looks like these cards could be a trouble. Like, yeah. Like, they look like the neighborhood bully. Alright, he's gonna make a Herald of Arc Light. I'm not sure what he's trying to do, but you know. <laughs> this is typical from people, you know. Whenever we have them under the lock, they're always gonna try to special summon as many monsters as they could, thinking that if one didn't work, then well, then the other one has to work. And if that didn't work, well, then the other one has to work. Something has to work. <laughs> Alright, then we special summon the guitar. The guitar is gonna banish four cards from the top of his deck once again. And then, since a monster was normal or special summon, the field spell can activate targeting one of our monsters to reduce our opponent's monsters by that attack all right then we go and attack the Zeus and then he had a one material zoo so that's why he couldn't activate and then the ice J curse is gonna activate burning for 3,000 damage since that's what the Zeus had as an attack and right now we have complete control of the field bro like <laughs> This is where the deck just gets crazy. When you have this lock, like, it's very little that your opponents can do. You know, the only thing that can screw us up is like a Harpy's Feather Dust or, or something like that. But, yeah, we're, we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling right here. Alright, activate Call by the Grave. Send that thing to the Shadow Realm. Negate its effect. He's gonna make a, another Diviner of the Herald. He's gonna go into Barrel on the Floor. But Barrel on the Floor is not gonna do anything. Everything is negated, my guy. Alright, then it's back to us. Let's put an end to this long duel. So I'm gonna banish the guitar so that my Gamir can get an attack boost. Then we're gonna kill the bear on the floor. Then we're gonna activate the curse, burn him for 3,000 damage. Woo! That was quite of a match, bro. It was pretty long, but I feel this was a great duel just to showcase how this deck can be, you know, a control deck once you have your lock acti active and ready. But uh, yeah, let's move on to our last uh, gameplay. We have game number three, and we are going to go up against uh, Dragon Link. Now, I don't have any interruptions, so, you know, Dragon Link is a combo heavy deck, so we're going to fast forward here just to save a little bit of time. All right, we have no other choice but to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And once again, everybody, I just want to thank you all for 500 subs. That really, really means a lot to me. 
like I mentioned, I started this channel just for fun. I just wanted it to learn about video editing and just to do something constructive while playing video games. I never really saw that I would get to 500 subs, so thank you all so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. And let's see where can we go from here. All right, so back to us. We got the bong, so we're gonna first activate the cradle, get our Igrin. Then we're gonna activate the bong. Bong is gonna excavate some cards. We got Yamatako Orochi, Tenula, and the Diva. So we're gonna get the Orochi. Okay, normal summon Agrin. We're gonna search for the manifestation. And this card, if you control a water monster and your opponent has a monster on the field or graveyard, you can take an Ice J monster from your deck and then you can either send it to the graveyard or special summon it. So I'm gonna special summon the creation, which is my level 7 tuner. And then we're gonna make our level 10 synchro. And then we also have our lock active right now, so our opponent is going to be kind of fucked. Alright, then we also activate the field spell, reducing the error of our opponent's monster by 2,000 attack. Okay, then we're going to activate the creation, attach itself to the gamer. And then I know that his monster is not, it can be destroyed by battle. But, you know, I just want to re start reducing his life points as much as I could, so that's why I attack into it. Okay, the dragon, the ravine is gonna send a card from the hand. He's gonna send the uh, beast of Saranir. and then he attacked into my Cosmoclaw, and if he attacking into my Cosmoclaw kind of lets me know he's not reading my cards. So we're going up against another bozo. All right, so we're gonna normal summon the guitar so that we can get rid of his other monster, reduce the fear by 1500. Then we're gonna smack him for another 2,400 damage. Okay, the Dragon Rain, the Ravine is going to activate. I'm going to chain the Agrin just so that I can get rid of his field spell. Try to cripple him some more. He's going to banish this card and he's going to try to special summon the Lubellion. But I got a friend who works at the Mortuary, so I'm going to give him a call. He's going to bring that Lubellion back into the grave. No escape in the underground for you. Alright, and he's gonna attack. He's gonna attack into the Cosmoclor again. He's gonna attack into my Agrin again. Like, <laughs> at this moment, I just feel like the frustration right now, man. He's probably like, fuck, this freaking guy. I cannot activate anything. Ah! <laughs> I can just feel it, bro. He's just frustrated right now. Alright, and then we're just gonna banish the guitar so we can give my Agrin an even higher attack boost and smack him for 4,000. <laughs> thank you, thank you. See you next time. All right, my people, welcome to our final game of this video. And to close things off, we're going up against Branded Bistios one more time. <laughs> All right, we're going second. He's going to activate Branded Opening, get his Alibur. Alibur is going to search for the Branded Fusion. This time, I don't have the Ash Blossom, so he's going to, uh, yep, pop off a little bit over here. All right, he's going to go into Albion. And Albion is going to be able to fusion summon by banishing some monsters. He's going to go into the Masquerade. Alright, so now he's got his Venereal Disease active. We got to get that Sanitizer. We got to get our protection, so... Alright, and he's got Nadia Servant. And he also has the Branded Beast. Damn, he's got everything, bro. Alright, then the Albion is going to set the Brandon in red for follow-up for his next turn. Alright, so first we're going to activate, you already know, that evenly matched. Alright, the Venero Disease is going to kick in. He's going to banish everything but the Branded Beast, which I thought was interesting. But um, yeah, we'll see. We got our Agrin. Agrin is going to get us our Field Spell. Now we got two out of the three cards needed. Then with these two monsters, we're going to make our Marinsis Coral Anemone. Alright, then Anemone is going to bring us back our Angler. Activate the Field Spell. Activate the Curse. And we're going to end our turn. Alright, he's going to get Fallen of Albas. He's going to get rid of the Angler. Maybe this dude is reading the my cards, which is... I would thought... You know, it was funny he didn't attack into Agrin, but maybe he's reading my cards. We draw into our cradle, and now we're able to search for our final piece. 
and I activated Cora Nemini just to see if I can bait any disruptions and he ended up having an infinite and permanent so that was great that I did that so now I can special summon our Cosmoclore and now we have our lock active and ready all right then we're gonna kill his Alibert then we're gonna burn him for 1800 attack the, with Cora Nemini burn him for 2000 Right, he's gonna activate Fallen of Albat, but he realized he is completely locked. He cannot activate any monster effects, so he's just gonna call it a day, take a shower, and take a nap. I think you know his mother had his milk hot and warm and ready for him already, so it was past his bedtime. <laughs> all right, let's get into the deck list. All right, everybody, thank you all so much if you made it this far into the video. And yep, let's just jump right into the deck list. So we have one Yamatako Orochi, we have three Deep Sea Diva. We have two Maxi, one Ash Blossom, one Ghost Bell. We got two Guitar Gnards Duo Nikis. We have three Ice Jade Igrin. I hope I, I'm pronouncing these cards correctly, bro. I'm not too sure. <laughs> we got one Silent Angler, one Ice Jade Tanola, three Ice Jade Tremora, two Ice Jade Creation Egiro Cases. We have one Ice Jade Creation Kingfisher. We got two Ice Jade Cosmoclore. One Harpy's Feather Duster. One Triple Tactics Talent. One Bong of Prosperity. Three Ice Jade Cradles. Two Ice Jade Manifestation. Two Ice Jade Sino Inion Cradle, which is our field spell. We got two Ice Jade Curse. We got one Super Poly. Two Called by the Grave one evenly matched and one infinite and permanence and then we have one ice jade erosion and then for the extra deck we have our super poly targets one garura we got one starving venom fusion dragon and then one egyptian god slime but the egyptian god slime we can also make it by activating the field spell and making cosmic lore uh, zero attack and then we can special summon the uh, god slime by tributing the cosmic lore but that only happens if I happen to get two Cosmoclore on the field because the God Slime can protect our monsters and so yep then we got one Deep Sea D, one Deep Sea Prima Donna one Stardust Dragon one Draco one Dragite one Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon one Baron de Fleur one Chang Ying then we got two Ice J Gamir Agrin, one Marinsis Coral Anemone, one Barricade Board Blocker, just in case if I happen to lose both of my field spells. And then we have one Eddie the Water Charmer. And yeah, so a lot of our synchro extra deck monsters are for back row protection. So like the Stardust Dragon can protect the back row, uh, the Drag Eye can protect the back row, the Barrel on the Floor can protect the back row. And um, yep. Yeah. But that's the deck. I hope you all enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to the channel for some more uh, fun decks. And good luck everybody in the um, Synchro Festival. Let me know down below if you would use this uh, deck in the Synchro event. And yep, any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop it down in the comments down below. I always try to respond to everyone as fast as I can. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon. Kiwami Games, I'm out.